Let's go to <laughs> Turner and Tallahassee. My thing about the Edmund Pettus Bridge um, and how they're wanting to change the name, I think that's just taking a big chunk out of history because it was a statement when Martin Luther King walked across that because of the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That bridge is is is, is the center. It's the focal point of the civil rights movement there. And uh, you're talking about the one in Selma. Yes. And, yeah. And, and uh, why would you want to change the name of something that we all remember as one of the turning points? Yeah. In the civil rights movement. Well, I think the guy that it's named after Rick had a past. I mean, I think he, he was, uh, had some Confederate ties and some other things. I, I don't know, but how do you, I mean, I, how do you, how do you, well, how that, do you work that out? Well, think that? about this mm-hmm. to, to Turner's point. What's better than Martin Luther King Jr. Leading that March across a bridge named after somebody who may have had some racist past that makes it even better to me it does. I, yeah, I mean yeah. so so i mean you can't take out a history martin luther king jr brings this march into selma across that bridge with the name i mean that that's what we all i mean that's a historic moment and to me to the point it makes it even more historic that that name would be above these african americans that are marching demanding the freedoms that the constitution was supposed supposed to afford them I mean, Edmund Pettus Bridge. We can't. Yeah. I mean, we can go back and get into the movie Selma and go now block it out. I mean, I, you I'm, can choose to see it either way, and it goes back to a mindset. What mindset you want to have? What mindset do you want to wake up with every morning and tackle your day with? Hey, look, you got two options right there. Perfect example. If Edmund Pettus, but w- you make the choice. Was was bigoted, and and I don't know his history, so I'm not going to pretend to know. But let's let's just say that's undoubtedly there's a problem because they want to get rid of it. What is a more poetic moment? No doubt. I mean, why would you want to take that out of history? Uh, I, I just I don't agree with that one. Yeah, I don't I, understand I, why I just, we don't celebrate these things. Yeah, I just uh, yeah, it, it it it's it goes back to everything that's 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 been accomplished I and how it was accomplished. So I, I don't. It's really remarkable. Right. And and we 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 should lift this up and talk about that more and the not tear okay, things Rick, down. Okay, Rick. Rick, yeah. let me give you his history. And rename okay. things. Yeah, right. He uh, he was um, a Confederate general. He was a leader in the Ku Klux Klan and a devout racist. But but that's what makes it even yeah. more poetic. Yeah, like your thumb and you know that. Because yeah. remember, yeah, I, I understand. Yeah, I understand. You, you remember. I that mean, makes it more powerful. If his that name, makes the moment more Bubba, powerful. Bubba, here's the thing: if his name was on a monument in the middle of a park, like we're honoring this person, right. then sure. Yeah. Okay. But the fact that it's on the very bridge that was the the whole world and our whole country looked at that bridge in Selma. At the middle of this, and Dr. King, I, I watched the movie and have read the history on it, strategically said, yeah. if we go there, the resistance we meet will be seen by the world, yeah. and our case will be heard. Okay? Because this will reveal that we're not exaggerating. Yeah. Okay? And to take that out of it, to me, again, I mean, right. I understand that I'm not going to make that decision. I, I, would, I would think that went through. I, I think there is, there is currently a petition to rename it after John Lewis, uh, you know, who who almost died in that conflict, who has been a representative for from Georgia for many years in Congress. Um, but there there's over a hundred thousand signatures on that petition right now. Yeah, well, again, I'm not going to make that decision, and the people who can make it certainly can. And I just, to me, it just makes the moment and i know it'll always be that so i guess we can still keep the moment but when you're walking down the road like in 2020 or 2021 and a little boy looks up at the bridge and it's named after john lewis you can certainly say well let me tell you about did you say that let me tell you about john lewis and that's yeah. great i think that's wonderful but man when you're walking with him and you look up and it still has old pettis's name up yes. there and you talk about what dr king and 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 those those marchers did under that name turn you know and it became the focal point and the yeah. turning of the tide in the civil rights movement. I just think there's something special about that. Yeah. But but again, it's not it's not my call, and whatever they want to do is fine with me. And all the people involved that have the authority to do it, it's totally up to them. So and, and it's it's been uh, it, it's been proposed before. Uh, as a matter of fact, the story I'm reading, Terry Lewis, who is a Demo- I'm, I'm sorry, Terry Sewell. 
uh, female African-American who is a representative from Alabama that covers that district um, said that she was against renaming the bridge initially, uh, publicly opposed it as late as 2015, but now may be in favor of changing it. Yeah. Certainly, the, the I don't have the authority on that. In my opinion, is that's all it is, just an opinion. But uh, that that one to me has has such a historic significance. I, I wonder if it dilutes it a little bit yeah. to do that. And and maybe I've seen it completely wrong. Yeah, I could be case, too. That's fine. Uh, yeah, I, a lot of the people involved may have a hundred and eighty degree different view on it, and that's you know I'm 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 game either way. I don't really have a you know, but it, but there is a history there that I I don't know. You know, it may be lost in some of that. Yeah, problem. maybe me looking at it as a white man, I, I'm 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 not seeing it the way that it should be seen. And if that's the case, it's not gonna. I'm not gonna go. Well, uh, you know, America is over now because they named the change. They named the bridge. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I don't. It, it's not gonna Im, yeah. impact me either way. But I know when I stood in Selma and I've been there a number of times, and I see that bridge. All I see is the turning point of the civil rights movement, yeah. and and this guy's name being on it, make makes it even more emotional. It does makes it even more powerful. Yeah, but um, if that's not the case anymore, then then so be it. Uh, we'll be back. It's uh, it's fifteen minutes to the top of the hour. Eight six six. We be big is the number. Our website, Rick and Bubba, spell out the word and dot com. If you have comments on that, if. Uh, um, and certainly, if uh, if you're African American, be interesting to hear your point of view on that. Eight six six, we be big. Uh, we'll be back. More of the Rick and Bubba show coming up right after this. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Rick and Bubba.